All right. So what we're doing today is something pretty cool. So what we're doing, as soon as I get this dot cam situated, is we are looking for the speeds of the fastest dogs. Okay. So this is doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo, the very last video of the school year. The next three that we have of lessons are going to be taught in front of the class as a traditional style lesson, um, which you guys aren't used to for a while because we did this 21st century learning this year. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make a box and whisker plot based on breeds, dogs, and their speeds. Um, and first thing we got to do is, first thing we always got to do is take these dog speeds. Remember, these are all dog speeds. We have to take them all, put them in order from least to greatest. So I'm just going to do that naturally. And you could just follow along and write as I do it. All right, very important that I got them all in one row because, oh, not fun when you don't. All right, so now I have my thing I'm going to put up here. I have my min, max, Q1, Q3, medium, and an IQR. Not everybody asks for IQR, but if you do, you're going to know how to do it. Now, remember... Keep your subscription to me for next year so that if you ever need to revisit any of these videos, you have access to them. Um, pretty sure you can, if you've subscribed to me, you'll always tap me. All right. So min, easy, 20, smallest number. Max, easy, 45, highest number. Okay. So we didn't explain what IQR is, and we're going to explain that in a minute. It involves the subtracting of the Q's, these two Q's, okay? So IQR is Q3 minus Q1 equals IQR. That'll help you out after. All right, so here we go. We got to do a slight little cross out all the way to find center. So uh, I'm going to take off five of these at a time. So one, two, three, four, five on the littles, one, two, three, four, five on the uppers. And now I can go a 30 and a 32, a 30 and a 32. And this should be my center. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yes. So my median is 30. So now in order to find my Q1, I have to take the data that's below it. And I have to find the middle of that. And for my Q3, I do the same. So I'm going to strike it the opposite way so I know which ones I've cut. This one cuts with that. So on and so forth. Oh, and my center here is a 28. So that is my Q1. My Q3, little, big, little, big, little and big, 36. So let's recap that real quick. We found an absolute center after we put them in numerical order, and that is the median. Then we roped off these lower numbers to find the median again of the lower data. That is Q1. Then we roped off the upper data, and we found the center, which is Q3. 
min is our smallest, max is our largest. Now we have to take the I, the Q1 and the Q3 and subtract those two to find the inner quartile range. So we're going to take our 36 and our 28 and subtract those, counting up 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, which means our inner quartile range is 8. Now, what does all this mean? Now it's time to make our, make our box and whisker plot. So first thing I'm going to do is I got to make all my marks from 20 to 45. So I'm just going to count by twos. See what I just did? I spread it out. So my min and my max are my dots. So 20 gets a dot. 45 gets a dot. Two, four, right between. There's my dot. 45. See that? 42, 44, 46, so 45. These are going to be my whiskers, hence box and whisker plot. Quartile one gets a line. So at 22, 24, 26, 28, we get a line. This is going to form our box. Our median gets a line. And we get to connect those. Then we have our Q3, which is 36. There's 32, 34, 36. That's another line. There is our box. So Q1. Median, Q3, whisker, whisker. So once again, min, you never have to label them usually. Min, I'm going to rewrite this one so it looks better. Q1, median, Q3, max. And this is the inner quartile range. Remember how we said this was 8? So between here and here, there should be eight, two, four, six, eight. So we know that we were correct. That is how you make a box and whisker plot. So one more time, min gets a dot, max gets a dot. The bars are the Q1, the median, and the Q3. The bar Q1, 28, median, bar 30, 36, Q3, connect those to make the box. Connect the dots to the box, and that is your box and whisker plot. Kind of rhymes. Rewatch that if you have any questions. Have a good night.